We're with Steve Weiss from Mayland Engineering. They manufacture the Mayland Pallet Master. So Steve, tell me a bit of background about the product, please. Uh, background is my father designed and developed it in the early 1990s. Um, he was in the market for a pallet changer. There was nothing strong enough, reliable enough that he could find. Um, so he designed and developed his own. Oh, like any good engineer, he went out and made it himself. Absolutely, and he did, did a good job. So where do you sell these products to? Um, mainly in the UK, but there is a global market, mainly Scandinavia as well. Okay, so you said about reliability. Do they come with a warranty? Yeah, they come with a warranty, but we have maybe every other year one major warranty or maintenance call out, and that's about it. Oh, okay. Now, what does the actual product comprise of? It comprises of two pallet tops, a clamp unit that bolts to the table, and a frame for transferring the pallet top. Oh, okay. Now, how does it actually work? Right, well, I'll show you. Simple. So that was it working, but basically, yeah, you've got your components on the pallet top in there, your fixture, your vices or whatever. So as soon as the machine stops machining, cycle's finished, open the doors, pull the pallet out, swap it over for the next pallet, push that in, lock it into position, repeats within 20 microns, and just press cycle start again. Okay, and I didn't time it, but less than 20 seconds? Absolutely. And you mentioned accuracy, less than 20 microns. Less than 20 microns. It's clamped down firmly to that clamp unit, clamped down to the table, so it's not going to move. Bang on. Okay, now the actual pallets themselves, are, are they standard, these ones? Um, these ones aren't standard. They standard come as plain aluminium pallet, um, but this one's got a whole matrix of some precision board counterboards on there for bolting your fixtures onto and locating your fixtures. Okay, so but essentially an engineer can have a bespoke on whatever he requires. Yeah, we'll help in the design and development, or we'll do it to your drawing within reason and technical boundaries. And you can attach normal work holdings to these pallets? Yeah, we can put micro-lock fixtures on, we can put other fixtures, we can design and develop fixtures for you, we can help with all the process. So total flexibility. Now, this is on a Haas VMC, but what machines will this fit to? Anything, just about anything. We've fitted it to just about any machine, mainly VMCs, but we've also got them on CMMs, pillar drills, horizontals, and things like that as well. So, a really flexible product, really accurate, gives you that repeatability. Now, I know a lot of engineers are thinking, what savings are they, they going to get? Typically, 35%, but anything from 10% up to 200%. Okay. I suppose it depends on the actual components and production. Yeah, absolutely. How many components and how long you change over time is from button to button. Now, you mentioned ha how many components. Oh, well, how many would you fit on there in sizes? Um, you can fit one, one big component, depending on the pallet size, or you can fit 20 or 30 components on there, depending on your fixture in, your component size and the pallet size. OK, so you got you have one cycle running, get this pallet prepared, once that's finished, straight in. But the actual pallets themselves, what sizes do they come in? At the moment, the standard range is 500 by 400 up to 1250 by 500, but then we've got people fitting subplates on and we've fitted subplates on that are bigger than that. Okay, so again, affording loads more flexibility. So, Steve, a great example. So, it provides automation, cost effective, bring that, the cost down for people, accurate, reliable, repeatable. Yeah, sells itself. Steve, thank you very much. Thank you.